Here's the premise. We thought tonight it might be a good idea to talk about how the history of race in America is currently taught in schools, what some of the gaps are, why they're there, and how we can fill them. And let's start with the fact that there are no national standards for what topics or figures students must learn about at school, and state standards vary widely. When CBS looked into it this year, it found seven states do not directly mention slavery in their state standards, only two mention white supremacy, while 16 list states' rights as a cause of the Civil War. And we actually did a whole 21-minute piece about what is wrong with that argument, but this clip explains it significantly quicker. It's implied that this next clip is going to do two things. Explain what is wrong with the argument, states' rights were a cause of the Civil War, and based on the title of the video, History Textbooks, answer the question, why do textbooks teach that states' rights were a cause of the Civil War? Here's the clip. The root cause of the Civil War is clear. What caused the Civil War was... Slavery. The main cause and why the South decided to secede was for slavery. So why do our history textbooks get it so wrong? Y'all don't want to deal with the fucked up shit that y'all ancestors did. Yeah. I mean, that pretty much sums it up. Is this an honest statement? What are the odds that John Oliver believes that this is an honest statement? Is John Oliver lying when he says that this clip pretty much sums it up? In order to explain what is wrong with the argument, states' rights were a cause of the Civil War, Last Week Tonight has responded, slavery was the cause of the Civil War. Whether right or wrong, this statement is not educational. This statement makes no attempt to be educational because this statement has no evidence. This statement doesn't help me, a person who doesn't understand, a person who has never been given the opportunity to understand, to understand. I'm holding an unfairly high bar here, but it's arguably dishonest for last week tonight to use a clip that does nothing more than restate their own thesis to explain an argument that it certainly does not explain. I have to wonder who last week tonight's target audience was in this instance, because it certainly wasn't the kid who needed the information most. For the record, South Carolina, Mississippi, and Texas each explicitly identify slavery and the northern threat to abolish slavery as being at the core of their decisions to secede, as noted in each of the states' 1861 Declaration of Causes. You can argue that southern states seceded for whatever reasons you want, but those three southern states state that slavery was at the core of whatever reasons you choose. To answer the question, why do textbooks teach that states' rights were a cause of the Civil War, Last Week Tonight has responded, because y'all don't want to deal with the fucked up shit that your ancestors did. This statement is not untrue, but it's arguably not very comprehensive either. It turns the very deliberate decision to use miseducation to funnel entire demographics of people into predetermined political ideologies into some kind of emotional defense mechanism. That's harmful. I know that not everyone wants a liberal education, but not everyone gets one. This statement speaks to some kid at the bottom of the ladder who in all truth didn't get to choose what perspectives he'd inherit. Everyone is responsible for their beliefs and the actions that come of them, but this statement speaks to a kid who only happened to grow up. To speak to the racist adult who in the past was deprived of education and inclusion, and to say that they do it on purpose is to instantaneously speak to the child who is currently being deprived of education and inclusion, and is to say to that child that they are doing it on purpose. I have no criticism of this Huffington Post clip. It is likely incomplete and taken out of context. My criticisms are purely directed at last week tonight's use of the clip to answer questions that it arguably does not answer completely. By not including evidence needed by viewers who disagree, Last Week Tonight has inadvertently pandered to viewers who already agree and neglected the child who needs the information most. Last Week Tonight is probably the best late night show currently running. I believe it is very worth your time to watch, especially given that the main story of every episode is available for free on YouTube. I have considerable respect for John Oliver as a writer, as an entertainer, and even as an educator. I just don't always feel like he challenges his audience. 
the failure to recognize the bigot, the deviant, and the mass murderer as victims of neglect, the failure to believe in the validity of their actions, no matter how extreme, under the premise that those actions succeed misconceptions that have been permitted by neglect, and the failure to understand how far from yourself you would be in the context of neglect, is a failure to relate to the bigot, the deviant, and the mass murderer on the basis of being human. It is to say that there are those who are unlike you. It is to neglect.